which FPV simulator will actually make you a better pilot? Today we're putting Trip FPV head to head against liftoff in the ultimate drone sim showdown. I've spent weeks flying both simulators, crashed hundreds of times in each, and the results might surprise you. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which simulator is right for your skill level, your budget, and your flying goals. We'll cover flight physics, graphics quality, ease of setup, training value, and which one actually translates better to real world flying. So let's dive in and see which simulator comes out on top. Let's start with getting these simulators up and running. So if you can't get flying quickly, what's the point? Troop FPV gets you in the air fast. The steam insulation is straightforward, and the controller setup wizard actually works. I had my Radio Master Pocket connected and calibrated in under 5 minutes. The interface is clean and intuitive, you're not hunting through menus to find basic settings. Lift off takes a bit more work initially. The installation process is smooth, but the controller binding can be finicky. I spent about 15 minutes getting my radio configured properly, and I had to restart the application twice. Once it's set up though, it remembers everything perfectly. Winner for ease of setup, Trip FPV takes this one. Getting new pilots flying quickly matters, and Trip just does it better. But here's where it gets interesting. Liftoff's initial setup complexity actually pays off later. The more detailed configuration options gives you finer control over your flying experience once you know what you're doing. Visually, these simulators take comple completely different approaches and both have their strengths. Trip FPV goes for photorealism and it shows. The environments look like real places you'd want to fly, the lighting is gorgeous, shadows behave naturally and the drone models are incredibly detailed. When you're flying through those realistic environments, it genuinely feels like you're piloting a real quad. But here's the catch. All that visual fidelity comes at a cost. On my mid-range gaming PC, I had to dial back some settings to maintain smooth frame rates. If you're running older hardware, you might struggle. Liftoff takes a more stylized approach. The graphics aren't trying to fool you into thinking they're real, but they're clean, consistent, and run smoothly on almost any decent gaming setup. The art style actually helps with visibility, it's easier to see your quad against the background, which matters when you're learning. For pure eye candy, Trip FPV wins. For consistent performance across different hardware, Liftoff takes it. Choose best on your priorities and PC specs. Right, now this is the big one. How do these simulators actually fly, and which one will make you a better real world pilot? I tested the same manoeuvres in both sims, and took my actual quad out to compare. The results were eye-opening. Trip FPV's physics feel more dynamic and realistic. Prop posture effects are noticeable, wind actually affects your flight path, and the quad responds to throttle input in a way that closely matches my real 5-inch freestyle drone. When I crash in Trip, the physics behave like I'd expect in real life. Power loops in Trip require proper throttle management and timing, just like the real thing. The simulator punishes bad technique and rewards smooth inputs. Liftoff's physics are more forgiving and predictable. They're not wrong, but they're simplified. This isn't necessarily bad for beginners. Liftoff more predictable physics can build confidence without the frustration of ultra-realistic crashes. But here's what surprised me. After flying both sims extensively and taking my real quad out, the muscle memory from Trip translated way better. The throttle curves, the stick movements, even the recovery techniques I learned in Trip worked almost identically on my real drone. Liftoff taught me the basics well, but Trip prepared me for the real thing way better. Content wise, both simulators offer plenty to keep you busy, but in different ways. Trip FPV focuses on quality over quantity. The tracks are beautifully designed and feel purposeful. Each environment teaches you something different tight technical courses for precision, open areas for speed runs, and realistic locations that actually exist. The multiplayer racing is smooth and competitive. Liftoff throws everything at you. Tons of tracks, multiple game modes, a progression system that unlocks content as you improve, and extensive customization options. 
The drone garage lets you build and tune virtual quads with real world parts and specifications. For training tools, liftoff has the edge. The built in tutorials are comprehensive, the challenge modes target specific skills, and the progression system keeps beginners motivated. Trip assumes you know what you're doing and focuses on providing great places to practice. If you're a complete beginner who needs structure and wants guidance, lift off wins. If you know the basics and want the best flying experience, Trip is your choice. Both simulators support the major radio transmitters, but with different levels of hassle. Trip's FPV controller setup is nearly plug and play. My my Radio Master Pocket and even a generic USB controller all worked without drama. The input lag is minimal and stick precision is excellent. Liftoff supports more controls technically, but getting them working can be really frustrating. Once configured properly, the response is good, but I expect to spend time in forums fight figuring out optimal settings. Both support custom curves and rate, but Trip makes it easier to access and adjust these settings mid session. If you just want to plug in your radio and fly, Trip wins. If you enjoy tweaking settings and don't mind initial complexity, lift off deeper configuration options might appeal to you. Right, let's talk money. Which simulator gives you more bang for your buck? Ship FPV costs around $30 or £15 if you're in the UK and includes everything you need to start flying seriously. No hidden DLC, no pay to unlock content. What you buy is what you get, and this is what you get. Liftoff starts about $30 as well, or £15 if you're in the UK, but has optional DLC packs. The base game includes plenty of content, if you want everything, you'll spend more over time. However, the base package offers tremendous value for beginners. For hardware requirements, Trip needs a more capable PC to look and run its best. Liftoff runs well on older systems, potentially saving you a graphics card upgrade. From a training perspective, both simulators will save you money in crashed real drones. Even at their full price, they'll pay for themselves the first time they prevent a real world crash. Budget recommendation? Start with liftoff as money's tight. Upgrade to trip when you're ready for the most realistic training experience. Right, time for the ultimate question. Which simulator actually makes you a better pilot? For complete beginners, liftoff provides better structured learning. The tutorials teach fundamentals systematically and the forgiving physics build confidence without constant crashes. New pilots can learn basic orientation, throttle control, and simple manoeuvres without frustration. For immediate and advanced pilots, Trip offers superior skill development. The realistic physics demand proper technique, and the authentic feel translates directly to real flying. Advanced manoeuvres practiced in Trip work identically on real quads. I tested this personally. After only flying Trip, my real world flying noticeably improved. Throttle control was smoother, recovery from unusual attitudes was faster, and my overall confidence even increased. After two weeks with only liftoff, I maintained my skills, but I didn't see the same improvement in real world performance as Trip. Both simulators prevent bad habits better than no practice at all, but Trip builds better habits from the start. So, which simulator should you choose? If you're a complete beginner who's never touched an FPV drone, start with liftoff. The structured learning, forgiving physics and lower system requirements make it the perfect entry point. Once you're comfortable with basic flying, consider upgrading to trip for more realistic training. If you have some FPV experience and want the most realistic simulator for serious training, choose trip FPV. The authentic physics and beautiful environments provide the best preparation for real world flying. For graphics enthusiasts with powerful PCs, Trip wins hands down. For, budget, for budget conscious pilots or those with older computers, Liftoff delivers excellent value. My personal recommendation, both have their place. I use Liftoff for casual flying and trying new tricks safely, and Trip for serious training and maintaining during skills during bad weather. But I mostly recommend Trip. What's your experience with FPV simulators? Drop a comment below and let me know which one you prefer and why. And if this comparison helped you decide, 
hit that subscribe button for more drone content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.